just because we have the second version. That's what I mean. Do you have the music? Can you get it for me, please? How many of you like blues? Anybody here like blues? Now, Zion is a very cute boy, with a very sweet face. We want him to do well. But I want you to not take it easy on him. And when I ask you and say, did that sound like real down and dirty? <laughs> Does anybody think it sounds like real down and dirty blues? No. If I didn't tell them to be next, I'd say, yeah, it was bluesy. No, <laughs> it wasn't bluesy. And we talked about this. The reason it wasn't bluesy is because when we get in front of an audience, it seems crazy, but even though we're supposed to be performing, what we want to do is retreat, right? Instead of putting everything out there, our tendency is to suck everything in. And I know you know how to play this down and dirty and funky. You know how I know? Not because of the lesson. You know how I know? Because you were practicing by my practice room, so I heard you. <laughs> Which means that when the door is closed and nobody's looking, you let loose. When the audience is here, you move. And we keep all of Zion here. You can see us, but the two of us were over there going. <laughs> the whole time. Not so much because you were doing that for us, because we wanted it from the music. So we were giving it to ourselves. Like, if you want, I'm going to get it myself. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. we were over there just getting it. And you were, who plays the blues sitting straight up like that? <laughs> and piano, you're right. Perfect. Fat, beautiful hand. It's like ballet almost, you know? Beautiful hand position. But blues, I'll allow you a little hunch. I'll even allow you to kind of bear it out in the key. I will even allow you to give me my these spaces. <laughs> I'll allow you to put some blues out there. And I promise it changes what your body does, which means it then changes what we hear. If we see you playing straight, that's that's all we can feel. If you give us this, then we'll get you'll get even more of that. The biggest compliment is to make a really straight-laced audience start nodding their head. Best feeling in the world. So without giving you any other directive other than play it like it should be played, let me see what you do. Not changing it up, doing exactly what's on the page. Let me see what you do. Making it more easy. But without improvising, doing what's on the page, but more of what's on the page. No, this is still what's written, but I don't want you to think See, what's happening is he's about to let loose for you because I told him to go home and come back and play this with improvisations into it. And I asked him to just practice letting loose and adding to the music. But it doesn't make you any more of a musician if all you can do is add the extra stuff, but you still can't do what's written. I want you to do it. It's written straight, but there's still more music on the page that you're not playing yet. So just play what it is, but funkier. I'll show you. <laughs> Step back a little bit. So you are doing, you're playing exactly, this is why he's such a perfect student. He does exactly what you say. And his arm position is just to die for. But it was too perfect for this. Let loose in the standard version. Does that make sense? 
I added a few things. I don't want you to add anything. I just want you to play it with more emotion, as is, as if we never talked about a second version. Then they're going to be blown away by a second version, because I heard that. All right? If that bass is not right, I am stopping right away. <laughs>